teacher. Now we study the brain part. This is the whole brain. These are two cerebral hemispheres. First we are studying the lower part. Or we can say base of the brain. Now into the base of the brain we are interested in very few structures. The first structure which is here. Yeah, these things. These are the olfactory tracts. Just beneath that part these structures these are known as the optic nerve then there is optic nerve they unite and form what is that part that part is known as the optic chiasma after the optic chiasma these two parts these things are known as the olfactory tracts they are known as the olfactory tracts now see this structure now let's remove this part this is the pons part this is the medulla and just in front of the pons and just back side of the optic chiasma this fossa is known as the interpeduncular fossa now we cut this thing let's remove this part and these are basically known and known as the crus cerebri this is the part of the midbrain and this is known as the crus cerebri so how is the interpeduncular fossa is bounded anteriorly by the optic chiasma posteriorly by the pons on to the side part it is formed by the these two crus cerebri and here there is optic tract now what are the contents of the this interpeduncular fossa then it's uh, this part these two small rounded portions yeah these two small rounded portions ball like they are known as the mammillary body just posterior to the mammillary body there is a perforations that is known as the posterior perforated substance here the structure which is broken but as we move inside we reach into the third ventricle here there is a tuber cinerium and there is a infundibulum and from there there is a pituitary gland is attached